Welcome to another video in this time-lapse tutorial. I'm going to show you how to airbrush this skull on this aluminium composite panel with some fuchsia flames. You can see I used a paper template there and I've worked in my darker areas which is done with the transparent black and I'm using that paper template to mark it in. Essentially that's my sketch. Now that the darker areas are in place, I'm using white. This is Trident White mixed with Reducer. And what I want to do is, using that white, I want to start to build the look of the artwork, adding in some texture, but also uh, creating a base for that fuchsia candy to sit on top of. Wherever you want a sharper highlight, you need to be up extremely close, pulling back less on your trigger and then for the softer highlights then you're further away. You can see I'm using a texture template here to create some of the texture in the cranium as well as other areas within the skull. And now using my fire tool templates I'm starting to bring in some of that smoke flame. So this is a mix of freehand as well as using the template. Usually I use one corner of the template and kind of move with it and the key to flames is really to visualize the flow of that fire. You can see you've got negative and positive spaces within those uh, templates. So I'm utilizing all different edges and then running my freehand off that as well. Now coming in with the Fuchsia Candy by DNA Paints. I'm spraying over the entire artwork except I'm controlling it so that I don't go too much over the base so last little bit of that fuchsia candy and then once the candy's done I let that dry for a bit and then I spray over the top with a intercoat clear for this artwork I use the SG100 intercoat clear by House of Colour and then once that's dry, I come back in with my white and I'm going to pick out the highlights just to really build some more depth within the artwork. If you want to take a look at the products that I use within this video, I'll link them in the description below. And also, if you're new to airbrushing, you might want to check out our online airbrushing course. For more info or to purchase, you can visit airbrushasylum.thinkific.com. I'll also put the link in the description just so it makes it easier for you. You can check that out after you finish watching this video. Back to the texture template and adding a bit more texture within the skull. You can see that next layer of flame is sitting on top and interacting with the skull artwork. So it's weaving in and out. It's not just uh, airbrush straight on top of it and now coming back in with my fuchsia candy I'm spraying over this layer not as heavy this time leaving some of those highlights showing through and then again seal it off with your intercoat clear and now I'm back to coming in with the highlights just to brighten it up even more With the teeth, you can see I'm only hitting certain edges. So suggesting those highlights and getting nice bright white highlights where I want them to really pop. Same with on the edges of the bone. So as you move throughout the artwork, you should actually be painting less. Back to the fire templates and adding some more flame licks coming off the skull. Now that that layer's finished, back to the fuchsia candy, spraying back over the top. Now the white and the black that I'm using within this piece are Trident airbrush paints, they're water-based paints and the Fuchsia Candy is automotive-based paint, so it's a urethane. So you can see, happy with the way it looked, but when I applied some clear, the Intercoat clear didn't protect the uh, layers as much and you can see the candy has bled through, 
So I'm just going to go ahead and brighten up that last layer again. So once it was cleared, I let it dry and I, I sanded the panel again with 800 wet and dry. Hitting a couple of those real bright white highlights again, just to really make it pop. And here is the completed artwork. You can really see how much depth is in the artwork when that clear goes on. You can really see through the layers, which is the beauty of candy. And to continue your learning, be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.